It's time to save money. No more will your wallet be strained because of your natural cycles. Let's get into it. But before we do, please make sure to like and subscribe because I'm sure a lot of people would want to know how they can save money and really time and suffering um, when it comes to their period. So please like and subscribe so that more people can get access to this very valuable information. And I mean valuable, ka -ching! So how to save money for your period. The tampon tax, as they call it, is true. And it affects it. Um, in the United States, it affects two to three percent. It takes two to three percent of our income to support our natural cycles. We should not have to pay for being who we are for our natural cycles, um, for a natural process that happens to us every month. And we don't have to. We can make short-term investments that help us in the long term. The first way to do that is by using reusable sanitary products, reusable feminine products. And those come in three forms, the reusable pad, the reusable menstrual disc, and the reusable menstrual cup. The first reason why these are a great way to save money is because you pay once, and you make that investment, which is about 10 to $20 for one of those three products um, every two to five years. 10 to $20 every two to five years. A box of tampons is 10 to $20 and that might get you through a cycle. So that's an easy way to save money. And while I think they are interesting, the menstrual discs. I think the easiest ones are if you um, are against tampons and you don't want um, anything inside of you, um, perhaps you want to keep your hymen intact, something like that, I recommend that you go for the menstrual pad. Um, and if you are a tampon user and you want to switch to something um, reusable, then I recommend that you use the menstrual cup. Uh, it's just a little bit, it's not as messy as the disc. Um, so, that is the financial reason why reusable products are great, but there's also a health reason. Um, in the United States, uh, the materials that are going into your body, that are being introduced to the inside of your body, either with the pad or with the tampon, um, that cotton is not tested for hazardous bacteria. So I would never take a dollar bill and put it in my mouth because I would be feeding myself hazardous bacteria. We don't know where it's been. We don't know what's on it. It's disgusting, right? Well, that same thing is happening when we are using untested material. Um, and I don't know why it's not a priority to test it, but we don't need to keep asking companies to test their material and make it safe and combat um, mortal dangers like toxic shock syndrome. Instead, we can just use reusable materials. Most companies who make reusable um, feminine products uh, do are very, very, very conscious of the material that they're using. All of it is, I've never come across a reusable product that is not BPA free. And that would be the only hazard that you need to worry about. So, uh, yes, it is just safer and it is, um, cheaper to use reusable products. So that's the first way that you can save money and stop having to pay that tampon tax. The second way to save money is in terms of pain medication. So a lot of us, I remember when I was in the throes of menstrual imbalance, I was going through a minimum of 2,400 milligrams of ibuprofen a day. That can get very expensive. And of course, um, there can be even heavier flows when your flow lasts longer than you expect. And you might be going through bottles and then there's the then you're also endangering your body because you might be actually um, feeding ulcers with an overuse of pain medication or the cost of going to the doctor to get the higher level pain medications like Tylenol 3 or like other pain medications that doctors prescribe that have to be given by prescription. Those, um, the doctor visit, the time, the time off of work and the medication itself costs a lot of money. Let's not even think about the time that you spend in the suffering and in the pain and how that might diminish your quality of work or how that might result in you having to make up the work that you lost um, while doing the work that you're supposed to be doing at the same time. All of it is stripping you. Well, 
All of that is devoted to pain relief. The way that you can save money there is by not being in pain. What we do is we actually use holistic methods by looking at how we can encourage our innate strengths and how we can encourage all parts of our holistic being, the intuitive, the physical, the emotional, and the mental. We nourish those parts and in the nourishing of those parts, considering in consideration of the four menstrual phases. So we've got the four parts of the holistic body and then we've got the second layer of the four menstrual phases. When we collapse those and live in alignment in a way to nurture those four parts in those four ways, a lovely byproduct of that practice is that pain stops. We shift people to pain-free, PMS-free and regular cycles without supplements or um, medication or a special diet or special exercise or special therapies like hormone, gut, or functional therapies, uh, simply by nurturing who you be and showing you how to live according to your distinct physiological needs. That gets rid of the pain and that also gets rid of the dollars that you're spending on treating the pain and on compensating for the pain that you were in when you were in the pain. So that is a short-term investment of about 90 days for 10 minutes a day for a long-term solution. Sustained pain-free periods, sustained PMS-free periods, and sustained regular cycles, which is also really great because that brings us to another very expensive price that we are paying when it comes to um, being women and our natural cycles. But before we get to that third one, You've been hearing a lot of information about how to get to pain-free PMS-free cycles and how we don't have to, you know, pay all of this money or go on these different birth controls or, you know, pay this, all of this, um, all of these expenses, you know, to a gut therapist or to a hormone therapist or buying all the hormones and buying all the testing and buying all the online courses. No, you don't need to do any of that. Um, and the way to start is to actually just start learning how to nurture yourself by your innate givens. An easy way to learn how to do that is to just join our email list. Every week on our email list, we include a tip on how you can, on one little micro intervention that is dedicated to your being, one little micro intervention dedicated to your being. Um, and when you receive those every week, you can actually get yourself on your journey to pain-free, PMS-free and regular cycles. If you wanna speed that up, there are also tips on how to do that, how to just jumpstart and shift you know, into pain-free, PMS-free and regular cycles in 90 days by joining our collective. All of that information is in our emails. So I strongly recommend that you join our email list and you get a special gift. Um, the gift that we are offering right now is our guide to great beginnings. So click on the link that says guide to great beginnings and you will get access to our email list and to the guide itself. So that third very expensive price that many of us are paying as a result of having periods. That is fertility help. More and more women are faced with the, with the um, option to, do, to use IVF because fertility, is, fertility levels are decreasing. Um, they have been decreasing for the last 20 years. And I, well, I see that more and more people are suffering from menstrual disorders and fertility dropping. I see that as two things that are combined. Medically, it's not seen that way. And so um, an option that is given outside of, oh, you have menstrual problems is, okay, we need to do fertility treatments. Well, something, the first obstacle, if you have menstrual problems, and most people who have menstrual problems also have fertility issues, um, especially if you have an endometriosis diagnosis, uh, the way to get your, the way to do IVF is that you need to have regular menstrual cycles in order to receive the, the treatment. Well, to get to regular menstrual cycles, what you need to do is you need to nurture your womb and instead of forcing it to be regular with birth control, because oftentimes, especially when we are in our 30s, birth control suddenly doesn't suddenly, it just stops being effective. Why? Well, my research has shown and my results have shown that who we be overrides the physical intervention that birth control is offering. And so because it overrides it, it actually, all that flailing that our womb is having to do to try to get out of the brace that birth control is trying to force on it, makes the, it actually increases the momentum of chaos. And that increased momentum of chaos is one that eventually the birth control cannot stop. And that's why we have people who are on birth control who are suddenly having menstrual shedding for months at a time or can't stop bleeding or are having cycles even with birth control that are every two weeks. 
birth control is no longer able to handle the momentum of a womb that is out of whack, that is not getting its needs met. So we use the fierce gentleness framework to meet those needs. That again is a short term investment of time, a minimal investment of money for your consistent periods short-term pain for long-term gain. And that way you get consistent periods and then your fertility treatment is smooth sailing. So these are three ways that you can save money and time and suffering. I really hope that you benefited from learning about this and I hope that you'll give it a shot. The days of using physical interventions that treat only the symptoms instead of treating the causes are over. We have proven methods to treat the causes, so let's use them and let's stop normalizing tolerance of menstrual disorder, tolerance of period problems. Let that go. Wishing you joy, ease, space, and grace.